on today's video, I'm gonna take you out of your comfort zone. Just kidding. Well, I am gonna, I'm gonna take you out of your comfort zone, but the cool thing about this haircut today is it's super functional in the salon. There's so many uh, of the techniques that we put into this cut that you're gonna be able to use on a daily basis within the salon. This is the cut that we're gonna go over. It's shorter, it's got a lot of texture, layering throughout. It's got these fun kind of textured bangs underneath, a little bit shorter, longer pieces that come over. So with all the techniques packed into this haircut, this is definitely gonna be one that you can use every single day in the salon. So let's not wait any longer, let's get started. Here we go. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. On the video today, we're gonna go over a technique that I think will be really fun for cutting really textured bangs, but also uh, creating disconnection. We're gonna do concave layering, and we're gonna do a nice short haircut. So I think you're gonna get a lot out of this, definitely a packed haircut. So the sectioning is pretty simple. It's the parietal ridge back to the high point of the head or the division point, um, not back to the crown. So I keep that square kind of tighter to the head to the front of the head uh, than I do to the back so you can see a really nice angle there so basically if you go from the midpoint of the ear up and around that's where that section is gonna be now I start off in the back occipital bone down this um, guest or whatever you want to say had a previous haircut which is a pretty typical thing um, in the salon so there was a kind of an undercut feel to this haircut so what I'm doing is I'm going from occipital bone down and just cleaning that up and starting my haircut at about an inch away from the head shape so um, and I'm following the round of the head because I want to really tie this in diagonal forward is how I'm working um, I want to build a little bit of length towards the hairline but for the most part I'm just following that head shape traveling guide all the way through now I'm working on the opposite side same thing happens but my fingers are pointing down we've talked about this multiple times if this is your first time checking out uh, my videos then um, just so you know I'm combing the new hair towards the guideline and the reason for that is you always want to stay consistent with your combing and that will make your haircuts more consistent and balanced on both sides so I take my parting and I bring that new hair to the guideline and I cut it there so now I work all the way up. Notice the elevation right behind the ear. If I brought that all the way down, it would just give me a completely different shape uh, and density to the haircut. So I just elevate it all the way up the head, coming straight off of the head, 90 degrees, creating that seamless layered effect uh, on this short haircut. Now this is where the haircut gets fun and interesting, it's something you probably wouldn't normally do. So we're gonna cut concave layering, really disconnect the ends, right? So the ends are gonna get super long. And the funny thing about this haircut for me, and actually, so Carly, who is one of the assistants in the salon, she's gonna, she's a, a licensed hairdresser. She's watching me do this haircut off to the side. You can't see her in this video, but I can tell as she's watching uh, this haircut unfolds, she's kind of thinking like, this is not going to be a great looking haircut. Um, and then at the end, it's funny because I said to her, um, it's funny how a haircut can go from being uh, so bad looking to then turning into something really cool just with a few techniques. So that's what I want to show you guys today is um, that freak out moment when you're cutting somebody's hair and you're like, oh, that's not what I wanted it to do. If you have a purpose behind everything that you're doing, then you're going to get the result. You just have to trust your confidence. That's where that confidence comes in. So notice the length that's still there, but the shortness right around that parietal ridge area, uh, the top of the section, that's really the length that we're working with, that disconnection there. So notice um, now I'm cutting palm to palm. So you always want, I wanted to, I was working short to long on the one side, so I wanna work short to long on this side, still keeping that concave effect. So I scoop my hand up and I cut short to long there. This is also a traveling guide, so uh, not really changing that part of the haircut at all. Keeping it traveling, that's going to keep those layers from getting too long. So I just bring the um, new section to the previous uh, so it travels along the head shape. So anytime I'm cutting hair, I think the... Um, the number one thing that I'm always thinking about is where am I pushing that weight and what do I want to do with it later? 
So all of this weight that I'm leaving on isn't necessarily going to stay on the haircut. Um, a lot of it I'm going to be cutting off and you'll see that in the next section. But for now, I wanted that weight because I want to work with it later and I really wanted to get that short um, concave effect going on the sides. So now I'm going to combine um, the crown of the head and the sides of the head shape. So I split my section in half and I'm going to work connecting that bottom occipital bone area up to the kind of low crown area. And notice that I break that in half. I'm actually going to go through and I'm going to cut this first section um, all the way through. But then I actually made kind of a, a mental decision that I wanted to go through and cut my kind of keep my body position the same, I guess you could say. So I'm going to cut through the bottom first, then I'm going to go through and work the top after. So, um, but you could see I'm really following the round of the head um, all the way through this part of the technique. This is where I'll start to connect um, the front and the back uh, like you guys saw before, I cut the sides and I moved into this area. Now I'm tucking that um, weight and removing some of that length all the way through that section till I get to behind the ear. I want to keep the length in front of the ear. And this is where the haircut starts to look a little funny. Um, but trust me, in the dry cut, we're going to change that. Um, so it's, again, not all about the hair that you're cutting right away. It's why do you want to leave that weight? What do you want to do with it later? So notice I'm leaving that length. Now I'm going through the top portion of the crown. So now on this side, I cut the section in half, uh, which is what I also did on the opposite side. I just didn't showcase it as much. Um, so I cut that section in half so I can work with the top part later, top of the crown. Um, but the low crown area, I connect through first. So working my way all the way through. And really the reasoning is because I changed my body position on that top section. So I want to go through, cut everything with my body the, the one way. And then I change my body position, go through and cut my uh, with my body the that way, I guess you could say. Nah, easy for me to say. All right, so... Continuing, tucking my fingers a little bit towards the ear, but following that head shape through. Now you can see I get to the uh, section behind the ear. I take my last parting and I go through and I cut that. And I leave that length for later to cut it. So here we go, finalizing the top. Um, crown area just following that head shape all the way up now I know sometimes the hair blends into my jacket just a little bit but what I would say to you guys is watch my finger angle because my fingers don't blend in with my jacket um, and you'll be able to see in that one little spot right there the angle that I was going for. Now I go through and I blow dry the entire haircut because now we're going to start working on the dry cutting portion. No, I did not cut the top square yet. Um, that fringe area, I want to do all of that dry. Um, and we're really going to create shorter bangs um, with layer. Uh, and then we're going to pass over kind of a heavier part with, a long, with longer pieces to create that texture. So you'll see what I mean in a second. So now we're going to connect the sides and the top and the way that we're going to do that i want to keep length in the very center of this top section so i go from that short point and we create a very convex feel to the layering um, as we go up here so because this is going to be falling over we're going to set that weight line right around that parietal ridge area and also this is going to give me that little bit of extra weight to work with in the bangs so now the only thing you're going to see, I turn the head towards me. Um, that's just because I want to keep that short to long. So the, this whole haircut kind of has that story of short to long. We went short to long uh, in a more concave way. And now we're going short to long in more of a convex feeling where it's going to have a little bit heavier weight. You can see that triangle that we build up using that technique. So the heaviest point is sitting right smack in the center uh, of the top of this of the head.
All right, so now to cut the fringe, I take a triangle section, so two diagonal back partings basically, and I clip that away. That's gonna be my longer part. You wanna make sure that that's the part that's gonna fall over the shorter area. So I didn't like that section, so I'm gonna take it and I'm going to section it one more time. I went a little bit deeper uh, into the head shape with that because I wanted to give myself a little extra room for this bang area. So I go through and do a little bit of point cutting. Everything is following the head shape. So you're gonna notice these are super short bangs. So if your guest did not want these super short bangs, then you would go through and just go a little bit longer uh, and you could really easily make this um, a more on like salon friendly, I guess you could say haircut. But I do believe that people do like these kind of like choppy short bangs and you'll see it come together again. This is where Carly's probably making that face. What is he doing? And this is where I'm going to tell you um, we're going through. We're creating that short choppiness. I'll blow it dry so they kind of smooth out a little bit so you can see. They definitely have that texture, but they're nice and light because we elevated them and followed the head shape. Now I go through, do a little bit of fine tuning with my scissor, and then I drop that longer section over. So this is where you're gonna start to see it coming together a bit. So those longer pieces fall over. I blow dry that with a flat wrap technique to get it ready for dry cutting. Um, then I smooth it out with a smoothing iron, and now I go through and I do slide cutting to blend these longer pieces into the shorter pieces. So really just going through, now this is the fun part. This is where you make the haircut come to life. So elevation, I've got that heavy point in the center. So I go through, do a little bit of point cutting to break that up and, uh, and blend in those longer pieces. Now these dangly parts in the ears, I go through and do some slide cutting to really take out a lot of the bulk on those, but keep the disconnection because I really like it, uh, especially when you get a, a texture product in there. Um, so go through, you blow it dry, you go through, you do your dry cutting, slide cutting, create that texture. And then the product that I'm gonna choose to style is the Invisible Wear Cloud Whip. This is a brand new product from Paul Mitchell. Uh, really like this product. It's a controlled texture, uh, really lightweight. So any of you guys out there um, that have shorter hair that don't like a lot of like really heavy product feel to it, the Cloud Whip is perfect. And then I do a little bit of the Undone Texture Spray from Paul Mitchell, and then we colored it yellow. Carly went out, she bleached it out, colored it yellow because everything else, everything looks cooler when it's yellow. So hope you guys like this cut. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Can't wait to hear your feedback and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.